What's up YouTube? So you want to get into software engineering, but it's really, really tough and you might not have much direction. So today I'm going to share the handful of steps I took to get a job six months after I started coding. If this provides value, feel free to like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below with your biggest challenge getting into software engineering. Make sure to watch until the end of the video to see all the steps that will get you that job as quickly as possible. So the first thing you need to do is you need to find focus. This is really important and a huge mistake a lot of people make when they're first starting out. Overall, there are a million different technologies you can learn in the web dev space. And the thing is you probably only need a handful to get that first job, then you can continue learning. So first of all, you need to learn the basic fundamentals, functions, loops, if statements, etc., for JavaScript. I would recommend just going the front end track into the industry. It's very straightforward and you get instant feedback working with things that you can actually see. Next, I would learn the ins and outs of JavaScript itself. It's a little bit of a quirky language. So what I would recommend is learning ES6, 7, and 8 syntax, as well as the quirks of being a loosely typed language. And lastly, inheritance using prototypes. Next, I would learn a front-end framework like React. A front-end framework will help you develop much quicker and tons of companies use them. Now, the three most popular ones are React, Angular, and Vue, but honestly, React is the one that's getting the most traction and there are tons of jobs that are opening up for React itself. I've also found that React is one of the easier ones to learn, Angular is a bit more confusing, and React is a little more straightforward. You also need to learn how to work with APIs. Now, full stack web developers will use the back end as well as databases, but if you want just a front end job, all you need to do is send data through an API call and also learn how to receive data through an API call. Also, it's crucial to learn the command line and how to use Git. These are used every day in the job and are super, super important. They'll also help speed up your code development and you'll be able to save time by learning this in the long run. Now the last thing is to not get bogged down by the things that don't matter. Things like learning jQuery, learning SAS versus CSS, learning everything that has to do with HTML. Those things really don't matter. You can learn them as you're going along. But the crucial things are to get the fundamentals down, which means fundamentals of JavaScript, fundamentals of React, and learning the command line again. That's really all that matters. Everything else can be learned on the job as you're going. Now again, these are my opinions. Take everything with a grain of salt. This is what I recommend, and I'm just going off mistakes that I had made throughout my journey. Now the next and most important thing to do is to build the habit of coding daily. You can't just code one day of the week and not code the other six and expect to learn a ton. The goal here is to get you a job as fast as possible, so you need to be coding from four to eight hours every single day, if not more. Just make sure to take some breaks. It's impossible to just focus straight for eight hours. That's not realistic at all. Personally, I code in intervals of 25 minutes and then take a five minute break. The best thing to do is to build actively. I would recommend getting video courses, watching the videos, and then pausing them and building along with them. This is much more effective than just opening a textbook and learning that way. If that learning style works for you, that's great. Feel free to do that. But really, to get a job, you need to show off the projects that you built and you need to build competency in creating these. I would recommend every day doing a practice problem on leak code. Start with easy, do one or two a day, and just build this into a habit. At the end of the three to six months that you spent, you will have done hundreds of questions. Now the next thing you need to do is start prepping for interviews. The, the nice thing is now that you've been coding every day for a few months, you will have built up enough questions that you will have noticed patterns, and you'll be able to tackle new questions easier, hopefully. These will still be hard, you'll still run into roadblocks, you'll probably fail a ton. But now that you've built up this habit, it'll be much easier to prep for interviews. I would recommend cracking the coding interview, but if you're going straight into front of web dev, just really nail down your projects and learn how to talk intelligently about them in an interview. You can practice on websites like Cramp for interviews, and you can also keep studying on sites like LeetCode. This is probably the most straightforward way, just make sure you've nailed the fundamentals of JavaScript and also the ins and outs of using the React framework. Now the last thing to do is send out tons of resumes. I would shoot for applying to 300 jobs. Once you apply to 300, it's almost guaranteed that you'll get a handful of on-sites and that you'll then eventually get one job. Make sure to manage your expectations and stay confident. 
This is a really hard process and can be really mentally tough, but the nice thing is you don't have to do it alone. You can go on communities like Free Code Camp online and you can find other people to talk to about this stuff and probably find people to also practice together. Building a study group and also building an accountability group is really, really beneficial if you want to stay motivated through the job search process. You can check out my other video, How to Get an Internship, which also applies to how to get a real job in the industry. Those same tactics I used to get my first job in the industry, and I was able to get one six months from the day I started to code. Remember, nothing in this process is going to be perfect. You don't have to learn absolutely everything. It's impossible to learn absolutely everything. The ultimate goal is to get a job so you can continue learning on the job and get paid to learn. Why would you wait a year to just learn and not make any money where you could get a job in six months and then continue your learning process throughout the rest of your career and get paid for it? Again, if this provided value, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment down below with your biggest struggle getting into software engineering. Also, check out my last video, how to get a software engineering internship. This can apply to getting real jobs or internships, but it's the exact process I used to get my first job in the industry. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot a comment below or DM me on Instagram at Matt Upham. Let's get you that software engineering job.